Well, hello there, friends. <laughs> On this lovely Tuesday, I think it's August 27, 28, getting close to the end, right? Four more months in the year and also the decade. How about that? Isn't that a depressing thought? Well, how about it? At least I'm not sitting in the car, right? I actually went to a different park, just something further away, somewhere I've never been. Sometimes you just get tired of walking to the same place, you know? Maybe it's symbolic. Maybe you need to go... Maybe you just need to start doing your routine somewhere else too, you know? Not just the same place you're used to going. I'm doing okay-ish, I suppose. I, I did dips again and uh, I don't know. Well, in addition to obviously all the other exercises I've been doing and just, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the dips, folks, I don't know, but I just felt everything get re-aggravated again, just like, not, it was like a day later where like this, this like pain here and just my upper back and all that shit again, so I just gotta take it easy for a little bit, let everything that got inflamed kind of die down a bit, and uh, I, I don't know, folks, I gotta try something different. Uh, it could be that... Whatever I did that screwed up my upper back, I mean, maybe it was doing too many dips and not building up my back enough, who knows, but maybe for a while I just gotta do something else while focusing on the walking and eating right, you know? As much as you wanna start building up the muscles and the chesticles and all that, Maybe right now is not the time, folks. Maybe it is time for sort of a break on some things and just refocusing on something less sexy and exciting, you know? Um, well, I went to the park where it all first started, folks. Where I, where I made my very first YouTube channel. <laughs> my first YouTube video was it. I think, uh, what is a forever alone? I think I even sat under the same tree. <laughs> yeah. Hard to believe that was, uh, six years ago. But, you know, like my usual self, you cut and run from what you're doing and that went under, and then the Virgin Messiah thing, and now this. But, uh, like I said, in a way, you know, you regret going down paths that were bad. So you just make a lot of shitty, depressing things, which seems like I'm starting to do on here, right? Um, but yeah, it's a weird time in life. It's like, what am I doing, man? What am I even doing? Lost, confused, it's just the the concept of like, wow, this thing where you could make your own stuff and share it with other people and some people even go on to make a living off of it was incredible. And I also went to another park where I recall I believe that was four years ago. Four years ago, sitting during summer, under a tree. <laughs> you noticing a theme, sitting under trees, right folks? Oh. Sitting under trees, thinking about stuff. Sitting under a tree, looking at two directions, you know? A lot of time had passed, seemed like th some things got better, but you're like, I need a path and a direction for my life. So you find yourself thinking, what was it? I was like, 
Well, I always kind of wanted to make video games, but I never did. It, uh, you know, it was kind of like, how can I salvage my degree? How can I salvage what I sort of have an interest in? Or was it just like coding, making apps, something like that? And uh, that having that having that internal struggle, right? And so, started messing around with the game development thing, watching this really great Unity uh, video tutorial. Having fun, folks. Actually having fun and enjoying something. How about that? And then you're overcome with and wrecked with guilt. Why? I don't know. It seems impractical. It seems useless. And so I stopped. Stopped and gave up on it and didn't really do anything else other than just like, oh, well, I'll learn coding and just sort of half-assed everything and never really went anywhere with it. And then four years later, folks, the circle has come back around to a very similar spot, hasn't it? You're now 34 years old. <laughs> You're just... That, that goofing off, the, the whatever you were doing is just like the, the cope wasn't, isn't really carrying you anymore. Like I can't even, the alcohol that I took a liking to isn't giving me the good feeling that it used to. I, uh, after that one stream, folks, I think I, I tried to buy, I, I bought some Guinness and drank two bottles and honestly couldn't drink anymore. Just something about alcohol now, I can't, it like makes me feel legitimately like shit, how about that? So all your cope no longer works and you find yourself in the same exact position again. Four years down the drain, wasted, with nothing to show for, and now entering middle 30s. And you find yourself sitting under a goddamn tree in a park again. <laughs> oh man. It's uh. <laughs> it's just funny. Staring at seemingly the exact same two paths again. I started watching like Unity game dev stuff again, and it's the same thing. You're like, sorry, I laughed a little bit that I almost cried there. It was like fun, you know? It's like learning this quote unquote boring stuff about this program is all fun. And here comes the guilt again. And you tell yourself, maybe I need to pursue like the the, the the development, whatever, JavaScript, blah, blah, even though I don't have a particular interest in it, right? But uh, it'll force me to get a real job and mature and move out and blah, blah, blah. And see, you know, there was a really good comment. I'm sorry about the, I forgot the username about uh, you're treating like, maturing and enjoying something as mutually exclusive things where it's either one or the other that the two somehow can exist together right and you're putting a lot of assumptions on things about how this will go how that will go how this will turn out how that will turn out it's like I don't know, it's like you hear a voice in your head that's like, no, 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 this isn't realistic. You need you need something more practical, this and that, but you don't ultimately know where the hell anything is going to go, right? So you tell yourself, at the very least, pick a path that you'll enjoy. But maybe that's just escaping. Maybe that's just escaping and hiding away. I don't know. I uh, I remember when I graduated college, 
believe this was early 2006, folks. I was offered an internship, but it was unpaid to do like Oracle databases because I was pretty decent at it at uh, school. I just didn't care for it. it, just wasn't really interesting. It was like, all right, well, this is the assignment, I'll do this stuff. So I think like a recruiter or something called the school and was like, oh, does anybody know anything? And they gave my name. And so I, uh, I turned it down. I turned it down, folks, because I went to go work as a shelver at a library. <laughs> and look how all that turned out. But then again, maybe it had to all happen this way, right? You're making assumptions. I tell myself, well, this internship would have probably led to, like, a good career and would have forced you to overcome your bullshit much sooner. Who knows, right, folks? That's the problem. You're making tons... Sorry, I don't care about the sound. Uh, you're making tons and tons of assumptions about how things would have gone. I mean, would it have forced me? Okay, maybe I would have gotten a good reference or they would have hired me or whatever. Would that have changed anything, folks? Or would I have just found another way to cope and escape from the world even doing that stuff? where I would have been making good money or something, but still found a way to somehow, like, shit on myself, so to speak. I don't know. But it's that decision that I sometimes think back on, and I'm like... I don't know, folks. I'm, I'm scared to make a decision because I fear it'll be the wrong one because I don't know where ultimately it's coming from. Is it coming from the heart? This... You've always wanted to make games, so why don't you, man? Stop playing them and start making them. Or is that just escapism? Wanting to hide away? I don't know. I'm scared to make the wrong decision, so I make no decision at all, folks. How about that? How about that, folks? And so you find yourself in the same position again, four years later, now 34, staring at the same two paths, your heart seemingly calls to one, but a voice in your head tells you, no, no, no. That's your, that, that's, you need something else. Something that you probably won't really like, but it'll be a real something. So you have this tug of war in your head. I don't know, folks. All I know is this. It can't continue on like this, you know? I can't continue on like this. I feel like I need to make a decision no matter what. And go with it. Don't look back and don't be like, well, this or maybe that because otherwise... You'll find yourself, what, 40 years old at some point here? Still having made no decision. Looking back and thinking, if I picked a path, any path, I would have six years under my belt, right? And I keep finding myself in the same position over and over, making the same mistakes over and over thinking the same way over and over about it keeping myself in the same exact place so I don't know Who am I? You know? Who? Bless you. 
Who am I? What do I even want? What am I even doing things for, you know? Are you doing a thing for yourself or are you doing it because you've got something in your head and and telling you to do that but who is it really for? Well, yeah, I could see, you know, people from the old days who watched and, yeah, you know, just a dude who's down on his luck trying to find his way turned into like a shitty bitter person and then paralyzed by indecision and cope and this and that. Well, I don't know. But... It can't... It can't stay the same way. You know what I mean? I mean, it can, but it shouldn't, nor should I, but it's just, why is it so difficult to make a decision, you know? Bye-bye. Well, hello there, friends. Just one last thing, an addendum. You know, I, um, I was helping this one lady at work apply for jobs online yesterday and I think she's a recent immigrant here I don't know where from kind of on the older side I think where she's from she probably was kind of more accomplished than here you know just starting low um and so you know like this cashier at Panda Express and stuff like that and she was just telling me that she was worried about coming across as like overqualified and stuff like that and uh, I don't know why like after helping her it really really stuck in my mind you know here you are complaining about your like existential I don't know which choice to make and like here's this person having to apply for like these shitty low-end jobs because that's what they got to do right I mean, you should be in some ways grateful that you can, that you even have a choice, right? Because some people out there, I'm sure a lot of people out there have no choice. And here you are complaining about, well, do I do this? Do I do that? And of course, that's not to say that that indecision isn't, uh, challenging to deal with, you know? As bad as things, some things maybe are, there are moments where, I don't know, you just look around and you also realize the, like, possibilities, opportunities, and stuff that life has, and what an amazing thing it also can be, right? Right? Maybe, folks, the reality is, maybe the simple reality is that the right choice is all of them. They're all the right choice. They're all the right decision. You just have to pick one, whatever it ultimately is, and go down it no matter what. Don't look back. Don't doubt yourself for this maybe the only wrong choice is to not make one and maybe that's how it's always been when when every when all of them are technically right it's just um maybe a little bit scary to deal with right your brain doesn't know how to like well if any decision I, I make and like really follow through with it and stuff, 
is the right one. It doesn't know how to handle it, right? You know, as much of a loser as I may be, I believe that I'm still in a position to more or less, you know, change things into how I want them to be, you know, change things for the better. I mean, you've got, okay, so you're older and this or that, but well, I mean, you don't really have too many like, I don't know, obligations. There's no wife, no kids. I mean, I work 30 hours a week, so I have extra, even more free time, you know? You have the time and possibility to turn yourself into who you want to be. You're just scared to decide. Some people out there have no choice. And you are paralyzed by your by the fact that you do have choice. So much so that you don't want to make any choice. That you're still, you know, you just you're you're still waiting for magically that one day that that feeling's going to hit you of, "Oh, okay, I'll do this." Yes, this. And then at that point, right, if it ever comes, all of your life will have gone away. All right, folks, it's time to head on home. I don't know what this video was other than a bunch of bullshit. Yeah.